Hey guys, it's Sebastian and today we are at the JFK lounge called Wingtip. We're getting in via Party Pass. Let's see if we can find a seat. So there's some seats here. This is kind of a dark area with people napping. Here's more seats, a bit of a brighter area and restrooms in the back. Okay, I just did a few laps around and this is a pretty interesting layout. So there's kind of two dark areas of a lot of space. There's a bunch of seats by the window on the right side, but they're not that great of a view. You pretty much have an obstructed view. You see buildings, you do get sunlight, so that's not too bad. The men's room was bad enough that I didn't want to show you guys it, so it's not really nice compared to other lounges. The food's kind of mediocre, but there are cold drinks and free alcohol, so I'm not going to complain. There's a few round desks kind of on the left side, and then there's kind of a bright seating area as well as four really amazing seats, which a family is currently sitting in, so I can't really sit there. They look pretty happily there so I don't think they're moving anytime soon. And those four seats have a view of the runway. So given that there's probably about 100 people in this lounge, those are probably the four best seats in the house. Here's the drink and coffee maker area. And I kind of forgot that there's some oranges here as well and some crackers and stuff like that. So pretzels, just dry snacks, not that appetizing one orange by itself. Shortbread looks pretty good though, at least. Here's a kid doing exactly what I'm doing. This is actually kind of cool. I think it would look amazing if it had more oranges, but by one orange by itself doesn't look that good. Here is the password, don't tell anyone. Wing tips with a capital S, some mints, some coffee, so another coffee maker, exactly the same as the other side. There is a bunch of alcohol right next to it, but there's a lot of people here. There's also more food over here as well as a fridge with a bunch of drinks and alcohol. Let's come back after. Here's the left side of some cereals, some toast, some fresh soup. So let's see what type of soup they have. Looks like vegetable or tomato. Some more plates and stuff, some cold salad items, some cheese. We have two eggs, I think. Yeah, two eggs. Some macaroni, some ham, cold cut items. Here is what's in the fridge. So juice, Coke, Sprite, Coke, beers. Here is some more beers. So they have Tiger, they have Sam Adams. Different options, interesting. And here is the water as well as the rest of the alcohol. So a few wines and a bunch of different hard liquors if you want to either make drinks or get extremely drunk before your flight. Here's a view of the runway. And here are the four or five seats I mentioned. Here is where I'm sitting. So not too bad, but not as good as those four seats. That's the view you get on the right side. So you basically see HSBC and you see some buildings. This lounge is pretty mediocre. I think on Yelp it had a three-star review. So again, it's not bad given that you do have free booze and some free food, but beyond that, it's just not that great. It's kind of dirty. The food isn't really restocked as much as it should be. And most of it is just not that good. If you are getting in for free because you're flying one of their airlines or you have priority pass, then fine. Obviously free food and free booze, you can't really complain. But if you are paying the 40 or $50 to get in here, and I think they have a rule that says you can only stay here for four hours, then I just don't think it's really worth it. You can spend that $50 going to any other fast food option in the terminal and you're probably going to be better off. Most people go to lounges because they want to kind of relax and kind of get away from the busyness of the terminal. Here, this lounge is super busy. It's There's a ton of people and you're not really going to get away from the noise and the insanity of a typical airport. So I don't think it's really worth it. You're better off spending that money elsewhere. You're probably going to get higher quality food and also more of it. So I think that makes more sense. But again, if you have priority pass like me, then this is free. You can't really complain. And again, there's not really any other options in Terminal 4, so you have to do what you have to do. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. My question for you guys is, have you been to this lounge before? What are your thoughts? Or is there any other better lounge in JFK? Let me know in the comments down below. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And again, if you know anyone else who would benefit from what we just talked about, feel free to share it with them because it's probably going to help them out. Otherwise, hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.